No matter your politics, some things never get old, and a Hulk Hogan shirt rip is undeniably one of them. There have been more than a few baffling moments at the 2024 Republican National Convention, but none as surreal as when Hulk Hogan stole the show by tearing his shirt off as a sign of his endorsement for Donald Trump as president. Earlier in the week, the WWE wrestler denounced the failed assassination attempt of the former president with an Instagram post. Days later, on July 18th, Hogan brought Hulkamania to the Republican National Convention by speaking on how the shooting at the Trump rally had left him enraged. As he took his blazer off and ripped his shirt to reveal a Trump Vance shirt underneath, he exclaimed, When they took a shot at my hero and they tried to kill the next president of the United States, enough was enough. As if to drive his point home, he then expressed his support from Trump's administration in typical Hogan fashion. Let trump -mania run wild, brother! Let trump -mania rule again! The WWE theatrics left people both buzzing and befuddled. One poster on X wrote, It really feels like we are living in a giant movie right now. There you see Rip doing the classic Rip psych job, psyching him up for this matchup, mean gene. Several pro-Trumpers thought it was a patriotic gesture, with one writing, God, this gets my American blood pumping. Another proclaimed, I am sorry, but Hulk Hogan is one of the most American things there is. Finally, one mused, Why does watching Hulk Hogan Hulk out never get old? Trump showed his softer side at the RNC and was so moved by the speech that he rose to his feet and blew an air kiss to show his appreciation. The following day, Hogan spoke about his riveting appearance at the RNC while appearing on Fox & Friends, saying he decided to ignore the teleprompter during his speech. I felt him rumbling, so I started pushing the gas pedal down, and the more I pushed the gas pedal down, the more they responded. Going into the RNC, Hogan had an agenda which involved educating those who were staunchly against Donald Trump. Hogan has known Trump for over 35 years, and he mentioned how the former president acted in the past, saying, He was such a kind person. He was just so nice all the time. It was really cool to see that this guy hasn't changed a bit. Prior to becoming POTUS, Trump had a long history with the WWE. In fact, Trump was enshrined in the WWE Hall of Fame in 2013. His history with the wrestling organization dates back to the late 80s, when WrestleMania 4 and 5 were sponsored by Trump Plaza. As the former president explained on the true story of WrestleMania, I just wanted a piece of it. Everybody in the country wanted this event, and we were able to get it. Trump also famously climbed into the ring himself in 2007. Years later, Hogan threw his hat into the political ring alongside Trump. Teamed with the ultimate ally, Hulk Hogan. Teamwork! Even Trump and Hogan's political relationship dates back a good while. When Donald Trump started his presidential campaign in 2015, Hogan made it clear that he was interested in being the real estate tycoon's tag team partner, telling TMZ, I don't want to be in the ring with any candidates. I want to be Trump's running mate. Did you hear that, Vice President Hogan? Hogan's political aspirations did not diminish over the years. Leading up to the 2024 RNC, Hogan had not declared whether he would endorse Trump or Joe Biden, but he did express interest in being on the campaign trail with either candidate. He told News Nation in June, if I was the VP and then all of a sudden I rolled right into that top spot four years later, you get 12 good years out of me. Weeks before his riotous RNC speech, Hogan said he wanted to see the candidates be themselves while publicly speaking. He explained, I just would like to see more organic and more candor and let these guys go at it a little bit. That same month, Hogan discussed how he would govern if elected to office. Appearing on Fox & Friends, he explained, So if you need a president or a vice president, I'll volunteer and take this country over and I'll rule with an iron fist, a flat tax, nothing but common sense. 